quarter early, um, you know, I think we have to uh, set realistic expectations. You know, last minute shoppers might want to change their ways this holiday season because disruptions to the related pandemic continue to plague the global supply chain. And as Halloween approaches, customs, candy, decorations all haunted by delays, a nationwide truck driver shortage and backups at ship ports, making some of the most coveted items just slow to get to stores. We've got our Lacey Beasley on assignment at a Halloween store, checking out the supplies there. And Lacey, they say every day is expected to get more hectic. That's right, Lanice. I'm standing in front of the Spirit Halloween in Mobile, and they say they're seeing thousands of people a day with lines wrapped around the building in the morning. And with each day that passes, it's getting only more crowded. Many people heading into Spirit Halloween in hopes of finding the perfect Halloween costume. But some say options are few and far between. Some places it was empty. Um, yeah, last year was obviously way more, you know, way more to pick from, but this year it seems like there's a little bit more empty shelves. And others agree everything is flying off the shelves. A lot of stuff was gone because I was thinking, okay, I want to come after Halloween and get stuff, but that, they're really selling out, so they've had a lot of people here. Tommy Judd is the district sales manager of Spirit Halloween, and he says when it's the week of, shoppers should expect to have less options to choose from. This year, Judd is seeing the most people in years gearing up for Halloween. Oh, it's been incredible. I mean, you could tell with the pandemic, you know, just kind of falling off that people really want to get back into a normalized tradition. According to the National Retail Federation, people will likely spend $3.3 billion this season on costumes, which is the most since 2017. But some parents are deciding not to venture out and trick or treat. Farrah Brown says while she's not concerned about COVID, she's choosing something different for her family this year. Well, we're actually going to go to like the fall festivals they have, like the churches are putting them on. So it seems like that's becoming a more popular thing. So, so will y'all be trick or treating or are you doing the fall festivals? Also, festival according to the NRF, they say that shoppers are expected to spend more, more than $100 at checkout this year on their Halloween items. Reporting live in Mobile, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.